Okay, Desert Bearhawk fans, we're over here at uh, our 20 ton press, Harbor Freight 159, on sale Father's Day. Love that Harbor Freight. Their tools are junk, but they get they do the job at least once. I hope I'm more than once on this press, but at least once. Um, I can't monitor my video and and uh, be here and do this at the same time, so I'm kind of shooting in the dark here. But you can see I set the the press up with two C clamps right here, so this this piece only raises up so far, so I don't have to constantly be pumping it down from fully collapsed and. Did that to kind of save myself some time. So here we have our rib that's going to get flanges on the lightning holes. You can see that the lightning holes are flat and they haven't been flanged yet. And what we're going to do is we're going to flange them. So we use our 20 ton press. Here's that C clamp I was talking about earlier I put on there just to help hold this material right here because there isn't a tooling hole there and we don't want one there because there's structural reasons for not having it there. So, anyways, here's our assembly ready to be flanged. Now the first thing I do is I take my flange die and on every on every press I take a little bit of this carnauba wax and I just put it on the face of the die and that just helps it move across the aluminum without scratching it or stretching it or pulling on it in any funny way. So I just put that guy in there kinda give her a little twist up for lubrication and you'll notice on both of these dies, I've drawn the circle here that helps me locate my backer pretty much in the center of it. So my, all my pressure is pretty even going straight down. Pretty even going straight down. So I will now soap up this one here. Like so. And into it it goes. And then we're ready to start pressing our flanges. You can see now that the stops allow this to come up just to enough to clear the top of the die so I don't have to spend you know 45 seconds pumping away to get this thing down to where I need it. It's, it's pretty much right there, one pump or so and, I'm, and I've already made contact. So I'm, what I'm trying to do now is just line up the center pin here, the very center of this press die so everything presses even and I put even pressure on my on my die when I'm flanging because I don't want to flange the I don't want to flange this side or this side or whichever side more than any other because it'll cause the rib to get all warped and goofy looking. So now I've got it all set up. I just give a pump or two and now I'm already engaged. I can take my hands off everything and it's gonna pump it down. I've got a reference line drawn right here that kind of gives me an idea but I can also pretty much tell I've bottomed out when I'm pumping on my 20 ton press and nothing's moving. So right there and bring it down and I just go a little bit snug. Watch me break the die right here while I'm talking to you guys. Okay, bring it down a little snug like that. I give it a second to kind of decide that's where it wants to be. I'm sure that all you metallurgists out there are laughing at me right now because I don't need to do that. But hey, it's my shop. I'll do what I want. So, okay. Open it up. And again, I can just release this. It goes right to those clamps and stops. I don't have to worry about jacking it back down. And I, 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 I'm going to take credit for this idea, although I'm sure somebody else must have thought of it before me, but it just seemed obvious to me. I watch guys online do it, and they jack this part down, and they release it, and then, you know, the bottom of it that comes all the way up to here, and then the next one, they're like, ah, 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 and they're jacking for five minutes just to get it back down to where it needs to be. So you can see now, this started right there like that, and now you can see that it's like that. So I've obviously depressed that material in there. And uh, I'm sorry that the material is depressed, but someday it'll be flying and I'm sure it won't be depressed then. But right now the material is depressed. Um, and then the process is just repeated for the nose rib or the, uh, the, the forward hole in the nose rib. If I say that word nose rib too many more times, I think I'm going to lose my mind. But anyways, we'll line it all up. Everything's nice and lined up. Now this one here, because the hole is smaller in diameter, for whatever reason seems to take more pressure to collapse it. Um, you can actually feel it, the feedback through the pump of the jack, you can kind of feel it stiffening up sooner than this one does. But nonetheless, I've got 20 tons and it don't, so it's going to go where I say, it just have to push it a little harder. And you can just see that die, and right about there it's going to stop moving, and I put just a little bit more of a skosh on it. 
and hold it. One of these times I'm going to push too hard, I'm going to split this whole thing, but I haven't done it yet, so, you know, yay me for not being a brute. So again, I'm letting it, uh, letting everybody decide where they want to be, and then I'm going to go ahead and use this up. I'm going to go right back to my little stops, so I'm not jacking like a maniac. And that wasn't meant to be funny, so whoever's laughing out there, please don't. And now if I just remove my dies, set them in their respective stations here, you can see inside here now that we have depressed and pressed those flanges to a perfect 30 plus whatever degree angle that they're supposed to be and everything looks pretty tasty and uh, that's how we make a nose rib so uh, there'll be more videos as this three-year project moves along but that's the first set of them and um, I'll be talking a lot about the center ribs here soon because they are going to start in earnest probably Tuesday. I will finish up with the remaining nose ribs that I have to do the flanging on. These are all right hand ribs. Um, I have to make another backer piece for the left hand ribs because the bevel's on the other side. This piece is universal. I'll just flip it over and, and I'm good to go. So. Um, that's it. That's how we do it. Take it out of here, throw, clean off the wax, throw it in the pile, do it again. And um, there you have it. Hope, uh, hope you guys got something out of it. Hope you found it interesting. Um, leave some feedback in the feedback thing if you want or post on my Facebook page, um, Desert Bearhawk, and uh, enjoy.